healthcare is teamwork and teams and teams of teams. We have medical students, nursing students, dental medicine students, and students in the social science aspect of things. What we are trying to do is to educate students from the very beginning about how to communicate with one another across professions, about how to work together, respect each other, learn from each other, and ultimately to provide the best care they can to their patients, clients, or communities. This building represents the Case Western Reserve University and Cleveland Clinic's commitment to that new way of learning. Some of the more dramatic changes in healthcare education has been reliance on new technologies. And those new technologies are things like how we teach anatomy, utilizing augmented reality, virtual reality to demonstrate anatomic relationships in a completely different way. We have a flight simulator, so there is a possibility of students to actually be in a helicopter managing the care of a patient. We can simulate an intensive care unit. And we can simulate an operating room. This is where healthcare education is going. World medicine is becoming unbelievably important. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught us this. We can hook up around the world to teach people as well as to gain information, skills, and learning about the different cultures. We don't want to just educate students within the walls of this beautiful building. We want them to really have an impact out into the community. We're having students work in teams on community-based projects. It's based on what would be helpful to community organizations around this area. Case Western Reserve University and Cleveland Clinic consider it a great honor to be able to host the first presidential debate. But it also is a testament to what we do here in terms of informing and teaching and educating different cohorts. I really believe that we have the potential to change how healthcare is delivered. So I look at the future of our health education campus as being very bright. The students that we see beginning to come out of the different curriculums gives me great hope for the tomorrow of medicine.